Yes, live for Allah. Live for His sake. You feel weird in this society, that's good. It is good. Because every prophet, they felt weird in this society. Every friend of Allah, they feel weird in this society. Every friend of Allah feels the whole world is not accepting them. They are a stranger in their own families. Now that you have this feeling, don't run to dunya to try to fill up that emptiness. Run to Mawla. Is there any valuable thing? The friends of Allah, they're valuable. You know why they're valuable? Because Allah has put value to them. They don't put any value to themselves. Allah has put value to them. When you start giving value to them, when you start giving value to the Holy Prophet at that time Allah will give you such value that those ones whom he loves and who loves him, they will start loving you too. What else is there to live for? Are we going to live for this dunya? One day they praise us, the next day they bring us down. That we run to build on this world, but when we die, they put us underground. This world that we are putting on top of our heads, that once we are underground, it grinds us. We don't want that to. We are running away from the punishment of the grave. We want, you see, coming back to your first question, what is tafakur? When you sit and you judge yourself. Those ones in the way, every day is our judgment day. We don't wait. Every day, we sit and we judge ourselves. So from that judgment and asking for forgiveness, you may experience every day to be paradise. You may experience every day to have that ease. You're living in this world, you're surrounded by people, but you have that ease and peace in your heart. You're surrounded by the fire, but inside your heart it is like a garden, it doesn't matter. That's what you want. What is the use of being surrounded by the garden, but inside your heart it is nothing but fire? So look to the fire in your heart, take it out. Then build to build a garden in your heart. This is what Tariqat, this is what our Shaykh is training us to have. Inshallah. That's okay. Hold on to the religion of Islam. It is worth living for, it is worth dying for. Hold on to that, even if you feel like you're a stranger. Because if you feel that you're holding on to your Islam and you're being treated and you feel like a stranger, to know that the Holy Prophet is giving salams to you. He said, Islam began strange and it will end strange. My salams to the strangers. We are here in this darga, not for dunya, not for anything else. But we are here, yes, for our shaykh. And our shaykh is teaching us how to love the Prophet and how to love and to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in order to have that, we must love each other too. And we are loving each other only for the sake of Allah. We have cut ourselves off from family ties. We have cut ourselves off from this world. We are making ties and bonds with ourselves. And for those ones, Holy Prophet is saying, they will be raised on the day of judgment on pillars of light. That the prophets themselves, they are going to envy them. May we be worthy to become like those ones, inshallah. We 
we'll only ask him to be behind our sheikh. So, you don't know what you're living for? Come to the dergah. I'll send you to the barn. You take one smell, you can say, ah, this is life. Yeah. And slowly, other things will start hitting you too, because the different secrets also comes from that. Understand, every prophet went through that too. Yeah. So you're going to start experiencing your faith slowly. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha.